also speaking of Alpine, um, it looks like they're going to be doing exactly what they did a year ago by firing their team principal right after the weekend is going to, you know, end. So, you know, the saying, like, if it's not broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. Alpine, I feel like their saying is like, everything is broke. We can't fix, fix it. Like, we can't fix it. Let's just like, th they literally are throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. They've yeah. tried to restructure. They brought in a new team principal. They've redone their, like everything. They have new, like owners, all this. And it's like, nothing is working still. <laughs> and like, yeah. they're changing dr a driver. And I still don't think anything's going to work next season. I just, I don't understand the direction this team is going. So th from, from what I, I can surmise, first of all, if you don't remember the context, last year going into the Belgian Grand Prix, it was announced that Otmar Safnauer, who's one of the more popular team principals on the grid, um, was basically like, you're fired, dot, 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 after this weekend. And it looks like Bruno Famine is going to undergo the same treatment from Alpine, um, where it's, you're fired, but you still have to work for the next three days. Um, which is awkward yeah. and hilarious. But what I think this is all about is this is all about Alpine has brought on Flavio Briatore, who had been banned from Formula One and unbanned from Formula One because rules don't exist. And this that and that was all related to Crashgate when um, Fernando Alonso's teammate um, Nelson Piquet Jr. crashed on was was told by Briatore to crash on purpose allegedly, um, so that Alonso could win the um, Singapore Grand Prix. Um, but it looks like this is all, you know, Briatori is kind of taking charge of the team and trying to dig them out of the hole that they're in by letting Esteban Ocon go, um, you know, yeah. changing, you know, changing things up at the team principal role. Um, but it's, it's really just a big old heaping hot mess and, you know, who knows what is actually going to come of this next restructure again. Yeah. I just, I think it's going to be like an annual spa weekend you know what I mean and just like not in a positive sense but a negative one every spa we're just gonna get a new you know fired and interim team principal who turns into the, the real one and then they fire him again and you know it's just an annual event time is a flat circle seriously